All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Be impatient with us. I said we start at six. It is a little bit after six. It's a pretty short concert. It's not quite too long. But uh, I can tell you it took us since the beginning of the school year to today, even practicing still these songs today to get to where we're at. These instruments are not easy instruments to play. And every single student that's sitting out here had a good three weeks at the beginning of the school year to decide if they wanted to be in this class or not. Now, this up here, these are my sixth graders from last, my fifth graders that were left over from last year, sixth graders this year. This is our first in-person concert since winter of 2019. So we haven't had concerts in two years. And these guys were in my class last year with several other kids who didn't join us this year. This was the only five that decided to stick with us. If I would have had this many in fifth grade, then we would have had definitely a lot more. But because of COVID and because of all the rest of whatever happened last year, this is what we have. But I always say this, I would rather have these five who want to come to my class and learn and practice and try and be respectful than a hundred kids who can care less. And every single one of these kids who is sitting here decided to be in this class. And they're all great kids and they have all worked very hard. I don't, if, if you haven't heard from me, I don't have a discipline problem in my class. They come in, they practice and they work. So before we start, I just wanna make sure that you understand the brain research is on our side for string instruments and for band. If, if playing in, in these kinds of groups, this is the biggest brain builder on this campus. There is no other class that will fire both sides of the brain at the same time, in turn making the connection between the right brain and the left brain stronger. These are the biggest brain builders they are, that there, that there is, that we know of. And I don't understand why they don't fund us as well as they do, but you know, we're working on all of that. Here are some of the things that strings will do. It enhances academic skills. Yes, there is a connection between playing a musical instrument and higher test scores and higher academic achievement. It goes hand in hand. The orchestra stick, the orchestra, S or T, or what is it? Uh, uh, what are those? The, the SAT scores are sometimes 100 to 200 points higher than everyone else. Also, increased IQ and improves memory, it builds social skills, it helps build character, it absolutely teaches discipline, playing music relieves stress. Once you're good at it, you can play for people. There's absolutely no more, nothing more enjoyable than to play music and entertain people. And of course, there's the sense of achievement. Every single one of these kids out here can play all of the songs that we're playing tonight. Now, we are beginners, and we have mistakes, and we have different things that happen, but every single one of these kids can play these songs to a beginning level. So, and I'll, this is the first year I've gotten my beginners to play this many songs. So, we're going to start right now, and every one of them are going to play the first five. Uh, I do have five beginning sixth grade students out here who decided, because I had such a small sixth grade group, I said I would have a beginning group. Next year, we probably will not have a beginning sixth grade group because we have such a large fifth grade group. So we do have, right up here in the front, we have two cellos, viola, and two violins who are beginners this year, and these kids are working really, really hard. So. All right, I don't think I introduced myself. My name is Mr. Friend. I am the strings teacher here. I teach over at Barry, and I also teach at Patrick this year. So I'm at three different schools. And again, let's just start with our first song tonight. The first thing we learn really is open strings. And then once we learn that, we start to learn songs. One of the building blocks of songs is scales. And our first scale to learn is the D major scale. So that's the one we're gonna play first. It's D major scale, so everybody please play in position. scale. Last two, three, four. 
It's kind of like the Legos of all music. We take those notes and we can build songs. And the first, one of the first songs we learned is uh, Merrily We Roll Along or Mary, we have, or Mary Had a Little Lamb. And of course, it's an easy three note song. So that will be our first one. All right, you guys ready? Learning to hold the instrument and use the muscles that we use to hold it is a big undertaking too. There's a specific way to do it, so in the long run, you do not hurt your hands and body. All right, play position, we're all there. Merrily we roll along, here we go. So our next concert will be drastically different than this one. And hopefully it'll be better. <laughs> Even though these kids are great. I mean, these are some of my best players at all three of my schools. So here we go. Some jingle bells, folks. Good job, 
Yeah, if you ever really want to know how hard these songs are and how hard it is, just pick it up one day and have them teach it to you. It's it's really it's really pretty difficult. It's amazing that we're still getting people to play these instruments for it's been 400 years since they were invented. So our last song for these kids right here is going to be Hot Cross Buns, another uh, pretty simple song. And then they're going to have three songs to play and then we'll be done. So they're going to sit and listen to my sixth grade advanced group here in just a second. But like I said, I'm very proud of these fifth graders. They've done a great job. And our last song is Hot Cross Buns for you guys here. All right, you guys ready? Playing position. years of teaching orchestra that I've been able to get my beginners to play that many songs. So that says a lot about them and how hard they're working. So we're going to go up here. I'm going to play with sixth grade and we're going to play our songs for y'all up there. Again, thank you for being here. And you guys, just great job. song up here is going to be Up on the Housetop. we got a couple of the holiday songs for you first. And then we've got difficult this is and, and how, you know, kind of nervous they can be. I only have one viola, Romeo over here, he's the only one playing the viola part. There's no one else. I have one bass player, he's playing the one bass part, 
and then we have three violins playing in another part, I'm playing the cello part. So just for them to get up here for the first time ever in front of all of you and play these parts by themselves is a big undertaking. So great job, guys. Our next song is Jolly Old St. Nicholas. Yes, yeah, so we're going to do this straight through twice. This evening is going to be a, a shorter version of Beethoven's Ninth. Beethoven's Ninth Symphony is an hour and a half long, so we're not going to play the whole thing this evening. Um, but it's just a portion of the Ode to Joy. Uh, many of you guys have probably heard this song a bunch of times, so we're going to play this for you. And again, thank you, thank you for coming out. Thank you for letting your kids be in this class. Again, they had to choose this. This was not something they had to do. Like I said, this is a huge break for her. And uh, I mean, I just can't stress it enough what it does for their academic achievement and for, you know, just all kinds of things. I don't know what their future will be, but I can tell you they'll be better off with a stronger brain. So again, after we're done, the violin viol players, you're gonna take your violins and violas home. Cellos, you'll come back up here, put your cellos back in the case and put them away and leave them on the stage along with the basses, okay? And we have one more song, Beethoven's Not. Here we go, folks.
very much, guys. These kids work very hard. I've said that over and over again, and I appreciate you. Have a wonderful holiday season, folks, and thank you, thank you for coming out. Have a great, great, great evening. Be safe.